Hey guys, welcome to Bumbling Panda. Today we're going to learn how to make this cute monkey plushy pillow thingy. <laughs> okay, let's get started. You're going to need a yard of dark brown fleece, some light tan fleece and light brown fleece, some white fleece, and some polyester stuffing. With the dark brown fleece, I cut a large round circle for his body. Of course, I cut two pieces, one for the front and one for the back. Then I cut out two smaller circles for his head. Next, I cut out his arms and legs in the light brown fleece, and they are pretty much in the shape of half circles. I cut out two pieces per arm and per leg, so that's four arm pieces and four leg pieces total. Next, I cut out ear pieces in the dark brown. They're also going to be shaped like half circles, and I'm going to cut out four pieces, two for each ear. I also cut out two inner ear pieces in light brown to accent the ears, and I'm going to sew each light brown piece onto one dark brown piece. To make the ears, arms, and legs, I placed two pieces right sides together and sewed the outer edge, but I also left an opening at the bottom so I could flip the piece right side out. I'm going to do this with all the pieces of the arms, legs, and the ears. Next, I'm going to cut out his face piece in the light tan, and I like to think of monkey's faces as like an upside down heart. Then I cut out a tiny nose in light brown and I cut out white long ovals for his eyes and dark brown for his pupils and then small white circles for his, you know, little spark in his eyes. Next, I'm going to sew his facial features onto his face, but to make it easier, I first sewed his eye pieces together and then I sewed them to his face. But you can do whatever is easier for you. So right now, pin and sew all his facial features to the front headpiece only. So here are all the pieces you should have so far. Two head pieces and two body pieces, and then two ears, two arms, and two legs. So taking the head, place it down onto the body piece, and then pin and sew the head to the body at the neck. Of course, you do this to both the front and the back of the monkey. <laughs> Next, I take all his ears, arms, and legs, and I'm going to flip them right side out, and then stuff them with polyester stuffing.
So then I position the ears on the front body piece and flip them inwards so that the outer edge of the ears matches the outer edge of the monkey's head. Then I do the same with the arms and legs, position them on the body piece and flip them inwards. Next, I take the back piece of the monkey and place it face down and then pin everything in place. So when I pinned, I made sure to catch all the ears, arms, and legs between the body pieces. And when I sew, I'm going to do the exact same thing, and I'm going to be very careful to catch all the ears, arms, and legs between the body pieces. Next, I sewed along the outer edge of the monkey, but I left the opening at the bottom so that I could flip the monkey right side out. Then I flipped him right side out through the opening at the bottom and I am going to straighten him out as best as possible. Next I cut out two long pieces in dark brown for his tail. I sewed the outer edge leaving the bottom open so I can flip it right side out. Once I flip the tail right side out, I'm going to stuff it with polyester stuffing. Then I sew the tail to the back of the monkey. Then I stuffed the monkey full of polyester stuffing. To sew the bottom clothes, I had to do it by hand. And here is how I do it so the stitches don't show. Ah, this is going to take forever, so you guys might as well grab a cup of coffee. Yay! He's finished, and this is what he looks like. Um, if you go to my blog, bumblingpanda.com, you can see more pictures of him. Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below, or go to my blog and ask any questions that you want. Thank you guys, and I will see you next week for another tutorial. Bye!